those are the example of the basic part of the workhorse model of microeconomics. Okay. Short run, medium run, and long run. Okay. Now, of course, during the explanation of that workhorse model, I will always introduce policies. Why? Because remember, the story of my macroeconomics is a story of disequilibrium and equilibrium. So, the adjustment from disequilibrium to equilibrium is always the story of policy, <coughs> macroeconomic policy. You know, it, it's almost like saying this. If you are watching a movie, and then you are only given the plot, but you are not given the action of the movie stars, this, the movie becomes very dry, it's very boring, because we, we watch movie because we want to see the actions, right? So, in macroeconomics, the action is really the policies here. Now, when I was talking about short run, medium run, and long run, I was implicitly also talking about policies. So you will you will hear in the next few weeks because in the next few weeks we'll we'll discuss in greater detail about the workhorse model. I will keep talking about policies. Earlier I gave you an example of monetary policy when you increase the money supply. That's a monetary policy. But I can always talk about the fiscal policy. I can always talk about exchange rate policy and things like that. Okay. So policy matters a lot in macroeconomics. Why? Because <coughs> macroeconomics is a story of disequilibrium and equilibrium. So when you are shifting from one position to another position, that is really the role of the policies here. Now, on top of the standard policy, because when I was when I'm going to explain the short run, medium run, and long run, I will of uh, explain the standard policies, okay? Standard means, you know, if the inflation goes up, <coughs> money supply will have to go down and vice versa. That's pretty standard, okay? But there are cases in macroeconomics in which policy is also facing uncertainty. And the uncertainty is something to do with the nature or the quality of the policy itself. Okay. There are cases in which policy has no credibility, but there are also cases in which policy has high credibility. Now, I know maybe you still confused at this stage. Why all of a sudden I, I'm talking about credibility? Just think about this, okay? Just think about the game. So the game, the players are two. One is policy makers and the other are the societies, okay? So, there are games between policy makers and societies. Now, in macroeconomics, we want to reach a certain goal of the game, okay? And that goal is welfare, whatever you define, okay? So, if the policy maker sees that the trend indicates the welfare that is going to be achieved by the society is not really good for the society, then policy makers will play the game and the game is really change the policy. You follow me? So it's a game, policy makers, between policy makers A and then society B. When A sees that the trend indicates something is not good for the B, then A will try to change something, and that something is policy, okay? Now, what is the role of that policy? The role of the policy, if A change something in policy, A is hoping or expecting that B will change their behavior. Let's pick one clear example. Suppose we are talking uh, about B, uh, let's say uh, investors, okay? So suppose the government sees that the investment level is low. So the government wants to change that. And suppose the government is trying to change by lowering the interest rate. The hope is that if the interest rate is low, then investor will borrow money from the bank and so forth. And then they use the money to invest, so that investment will go up. That's pretty standard, right? If 
if the government player A sees that investor player B is not investing, then the government try to change the behavior of B, try to make B invest. One way to do it is by changing the policy, let's say lowering the interest rate. But in some cases, even if the government does that, B does not want to change the behavior. So even if the interest rate goes down, B may continue not to invest. Okay. Why? Because B may not live with A. So when the credibility of the government, when the credibility of policymakers is low, no matter what policy the government is taking, it will not affect the behavior of B. And as a result, the investment <coughs> or any other macroeconomic variables will not change. So that is the story for credibility. Okay.